Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Yunks. Today is Friday, and that means Zer is here in the tower. Now, I do not know what he has, but I do know where he is, so let's go check him out. What did he bring us last week? Pretty sure he brought us the fourth horseman. What can he possibly bring us this week? Let's go ahead and find out. I am a little late with this Zer video than normal. I had to take care of the, some stuff this morning, and I got this dude, Samuel, following me around in the tower. I'm, I'm assuming he knows who I am, so shout out to him if he's watching this video for sure. Now let's check out Zer. All right, so he brought us the Zylo Supercell. We will eventually get into that, but let's start here with the Titan. No backup plans. This is specific for the Defender subclass. And the first thing I'm going to say, this is a ton of fun if you love overshields and you love shotguns in the Crucible. <laughs> These are great for consecutive kills with your shoddy. If you're running like universal, or if you're running a double shoddy combo, not saying that's always the most efficient thing to do. With your Titan, no backup plans would fit right in. Even if you're running just one shotgun, you know, no backup plans will work. Very well. They're a ton of fun to use. I think they're totally worth the three, the 13 strange coins. So if you have them, go ahead, pick this up. If you, you know, if you love shotgunning in the crucible and you have your Titan, go ahead, pick that up for sure. We're going to leave it at that. Uh, you know, yeah, we'll just leave it at that. Moving on to Graviton forfeit for the Hunter. This was specific for the Night Stalker subclass. This comes with intellect and strength oh did i even read the perk on this shotgun kills trigger forest barrier and forest barrier's duration is increased so every time your forest barrier is ready your melee charge is ready and you get a shotgun kill it will trigger that overshield all right moving on all right graviton forfeit so yeah this is for your hunter specific for the night stalker subclass and you get shade step automatically when you have this helmet equipped so this means you could run um what uh what are the perks you could run um wow it's been a while really been a while man it, it's just drawn a blank right now you could run keen scout that's right keen scout the uh the advanced radar and you get like extra sprint am i think i think i'm saying that right guys just go ahead and leave in the comments correct me if i'm wrong on that but you can get keen scout if you have shade step unlocked from the graviton forfeit you can run just keen scout on your hunter so you could have shade uh shade step and keen scout so yeah, that's very nice to have. I think this is totally worth the 13 strange coins. If you run Night Stalker at all, even if it's PvE or PvP, both uh, modes are pretty good to have this helm. Uh, yeah, just go ahead and pick this up if you have the 13 strange coins. I think it is worth it. Now, Apotheosis Veil for the Warlock. This comes with Intellect and Strength. And the main perk here, Immediate Health, Melee, and Grenade Regeneration on activating your Super. So, this used to be my go-to Exotic Helm for Crota back in the day. When, you know, when you needed the Chalice. and if, But in Hard Mode, there was no Chalice, so you couldn't get your Health Regen. So, yeah, this was the way I regen my health with my Warlock. That's just how I did it. But now that Crota is a little more less irrelevant, you know, I, I don't use this. I could always use Red Death 2 in there. But, you know, now, you know, I just don't feel like there's a real use for this helmet anymore for the war. Like, I just don't really see it. I mean, leave in the comments, guys. Let me know if you do know a use for this helm. But for me, I really just don't see the use for it. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the Zalo Supercell. Let's take a look at this. So the main perk here, arc projectiles have the chance to chain lightning when enemies are close together. So pretty unique perk right there. That's always a fun thing when it activates. Persistence, we have hammer forged, rifled barrel, brace frame, and bolts from the blue. Double kills with this weapon charge a small amount of super energy and return ammo to the mag. So that's kind of like a bad juju right there in a way. And yeah, that's pretty damn awesome. So very unique um, auto rifle. It's fun to use. I wouldn't necessarily say it's like the best exotic primary for sure, but I would say it's definitely fun to use. So if you are a collector and you have the strange coins, pick it up. And even if you're not a collector and you're just looking for a fun exotic to use, this wouldn't be a bad choice. Moving on to Legacy Ingram. So this will cost you 31 strange coins for a year one primary. So uh, yeah, this costs a lot of strange coins, very expensive. 
do not buy these if you're looking for year two stuff. I repeat, do not buy these if you're looking for year two stuff. You will learn the hard way like I did. And when, I, when these first came out, I bought like three of these and I instantly regretted it knowing, finding out they were for year one only. So let's say if you want like a thorn as of right now, I know it's coming back into year three, but if you want thorn right now, this would be the way to do it. So yeah, that's that. Moving on to glass needles. This will cost you three strange coins, three motes of light, and one exotic shard. This will change and alter your stats um, on your armor. Not your stats, your perks, like your intellect and strength and your sidearm ammo, sniper ammo, blah, blah, blah. So let's say you want discipline, but you have strength. Keep rolling glass needles until you have that discipline on your exotic armor. And let's say you want sniper ammo, but you have sidearm ammo. Keep rolling it until you have that perfect roll. Moving on to three of coins. I'm going to go ahead and purchase a few of these on my Titan. I'm running a little low. I've been popping these a lot recently. So let's go ahead and buy a few of those. I will pop it right here. Samuel's still dancing for me. That is awesome. So let's go ahead and pop a three of coins. And now we got exotic particles. Grants a chance to receive an exotic engram on the next ultra kill or crucible match completion. That is win or lose for PvP. And usually I'll pop this every other PvP match or before every boss in the strike. That is how I farm my exotic engrams. So, yeah, there's that. And I know I say that in every single video, but, you know, just in case somebody's new to the game, I like to just cover, like, every little detail as I can. Heavy ammo synths. This will cost you one strange coin for three heavy ammo synths. So this is actually a pretty good deal considering Banshee 44 in the tower will charge you 950 glimmer for one. And that adds up very, very quickly. So if you need heavy ammo synths, make sure you stock up, if you, especially if you're big into PvE activities like raids and nightfalls. Moving on to the vehicle upgrades, we have Emerald Coil and Plasma Drive. These will change a blue rarity sparrow into a legendary sparrow and also change the contrail color. These are very unique. I rarely ever see these. And yeah, so if you want to be different and you want to be unique, go ahead, pick one of these up and infuse it with your blue sparrow. Moving on to the mode of light exchange. This will cost you two strange coins for one mode of light. So at this point in the game, I have a ton of motes on me. And, you know, I, I still have a hefty amount of strange coins, but not nearly as many as I do motes. I just don't right now. I don't have a personal need for motes, so I just stay away from this personally. But if you need uh, motes of light and you have the extra strange coins lying around, I guess you could go ahead and do this anyway. That is pretty much it for Zer this week, and there he is still dancing. I'll dance with him. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like on the video if you enjoyed the video, and suffer the support. I'd highly appreciate it.